This is an introduction video of how to use the Blue Log NFC Temperature Data Loggers. To start, you need to activate NFC on your Android smartphone. To do this, simply go in the settings, wireless and networks, and more. You can see that NFC is activated. Then simply place your smartphone next to the logger. You will be redirected to download the app on Google Play, which is called BlueTag. Once the app is installed, open it and place again your smartphone next to the logger. You will be redirected to the main page of the logger containing information such as ID number, calibration date, expiration date. From this page, you can download the calibration certificate, which is provided for each logger. And you can start new recording. To start a new recording, you first have to choose a profile. This profile, there are two profiles by default, the default profile, which contains logistical information, and the basic profile, which just contains, for instance, product description. These profiles can be customized on the profile manager page, where you can create, for instance, your own fields. Going back to this, this page, you can we can choose, for instance, the basic profile, indicate product description, for instance, vaccine, choose length of measurement, for instance, every minute, minimum acceptable temperature, in this case, two degrees, maximum acceptable temperature, in this case, eight degrees, activation energy, which will be used for calculation of the mean kinetic temperature, and the time threshold for activation of the load diodes, which you can see on the logger there, the red diod, which will bring, for instance, uh, after 10 minutes of being above 8 degrees. You can delay the start of recording and choose pin codes which would be uh, used to protect against reading of temperature data and stopping the recording. To start the recording, press here and place your smartphone next to the logger. The new recording has now been created and you can see the green diode that started blinking. It will keep blinking until the recording is stopped. To access the recording, simply go back to the page, the first page, and again place your smartphone next to the logger. You will see the current recording showing here with all the information that was indicated during programming. You can see the temperature, which will be shown on a graph. For now, there's of course only one measurement, and it will slowly build the graph. And you can also share the whole full temperature report containing information such as mean kinetic temperature extreme temperature during the recording time, and the list of all the temperature excursions, as well as the full list of the temperature measurements. And this temperature report can be, for instance, sent via email by indicating the address of the recipient. And the email is already uh, by default created with the title and the CSV file. To end recording, go back to the previous page and press and recording. And again, place your phone next to the logo.